me, Madam Speaker, to really follow exactly what route he wants to take. He has talked about the president, and now we are discussing the president in the house. He is not here, but I will tell you, I have not heard the president say, I created opportunities. He seized, he used the opportunities. And that is the normal way for all of us to live. When an opportunity is given to you, as we are giving opportunity to the Zambians in our constituencies to participate in the projects, they prepare themselves, they have the skill, they get a contract, they make money. That is clean money. That is not creating an opportunity for yourself. Yeah. That is seizing the opportunity, yeah. using the opportunity to make your wealth. He did, indeed. And there is a track record. How do you question a person, Madam Speaker, who, while at the University of Zambia, could be a dagger boy, the soil manager, to build his first house? Yeah. That is yeah. really a person we should commend. Yeah. That is not a joke. If you are not sent wise, you will not be dollar wise. If you don't know how to look after one quarter, you can't have thousands. If you can have that, most likely you have acquired it and lawfully. Yeah. Yeah. And to say for the president whose agenda, part of his agenda is to see that Zambians get wealth, then you want to make allegations that the president says, or does he say, or does he think? I don't know how you see his thinking. But that the president feels that whoever has money has stolen. That is an imagination of the mind, Madam Speaker. The president wants people to be wealthy. That is why for the policy that he has in place, we have in place here, is that even investors that are coming to Zambia must partner with Zambians, yeah. 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 including, yes, the honorable uh, leader, acting leader of uh, government business. Honorable members, this is the intention of this government through the president, the leader, that Zambians must be wealth for once. Zambia can't be watching, for example, foreign investment without participation. And why participate? Is it not to, to, to become wealth? That is not President Hakainde you are talking about, the one we know on this side. He wants people to get wealth. But to acquire wealth and lawfully, and you call that persecution. <laughs> Ah. Colleagues, members, honorable members of this house, and through you to the nation, let us be sincere as we look at issues. And to say, the court, not the courts, you are saying SEC is using its law. I don't know which law you are, you, you are talking about. Because SEC has several pieces of clauses which provide for how to deal with issues of acquiring wealth illegally. And each one is treated differently. Did you uh, abuse an office? Did you outright corrupt somebody? They are all different. And uh, I will still repeat this, madam. There is no need to persecute anybody. Every Zambian has a right. But there is no need to change prosecution to persecution. Some of you seated, seated here were also PF and were also ministers. Why have you not been followed if it is persecution? Why? If you worked properly, you can go to bed even if, and sleep. Even if the, uh, the SEC or DEC follow you, don't fear. Because the truth will always prevail. After all, it's good for you, my honorable. North, what is it? Chama? South. 
If you are arrested for a wrong reason, you will be exonerated by fact. And it is good for you that your name is clean. So nobody is persecuting anybody. But if you were wrong, I stand here on behalf of this government and sincerely so. We want to prosecute you. And in fact, if you did wrong, you need to be convicted. Because your heart must tell you there is no way there is no way we are going to persecute people. Then we are inconsistent in our thinking. We want to unite. But in unity, we will not allow criminality. We will not allow criminality. I want to quote some book, Madam, which says, Your sin shall surely find you out. It is not what other people do, it's what you do that convicts you. So, Honorable, the President made his money. And he wants you to also make your money. But not to get money that does not, you have not worked for. Madam, I hope I've said something. I hope, Honorable, I've tried to answer. No persecution in this country. No persecution. There will be prosecution. If Inalumango does something, you will see me in court. And it is the law enforcement that should do that. We don't want. Yesterday somebody said, do you want to investigate? We are not investigative wing. The wings are listening and they should do their due diligence. Thank you, madam.